Welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about the least favorite product or palette of five, well that's not five, five brands I own. So if you want to see which, which palette I would kick out if I wanted to, then keep on watching. Of course, these are not the only five brands I own uh, or where I have more than one palette from, but I thought this would be a great idea. First of all, this is not my idea. I saw them on Engeshka's channel, which I will link down below, as well as the idea in particular came from Anne's channel, which I is a dear friend of mine, and we talked today, and I didn't want to waste this good look. So um, we talked about it, and she brought up this idea. I loved it. So so I asked her if I can do that and she said, kindly said yes. So uh, let's go into the five brands. I will show you what palettes I own from the brand and which one would be the one I like the least. So which one I would kick out if I wanted to. Let's start with a difficult one and these are my Natasha Denona like palettes. I will start probably with the small ones. I do have small palettes uh, from Natasha Denona. This one is the Mini Love. This is the Mini Love. Oh, I love this shade, by the way. This is a gold to pink. I don't hear, maybe you can see. This one is the Mini Love. I also own the Mini Gold, which is this palette, which both of these I brought traveling with me in the last month. Then I do own the bronze palette. These ones are just the $65 palettes. This one is the bronze one. And I also own the love one. <laughs> this one, which I bought from Anne and she bought it again. We do love that color scheme, doesn't we? So um, this one is the love and I also bought all of these palettes are the 65 range. I don't have uh, her 130, 129 bucks. And this one is the glam one. And um, I do have to say if I would like for this five palettes, again, I don't own any single product of these brands, but I thought this would be a fun thing. So just so you know, these are the products from Natasha Denona and the one I love the least would be the bronze. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <sighs> Listen, I do love a warm tone. For me though, this one hasn't enough light shades. It doesn't have even enough deep shades to be honest because this one is the only deep shade that is a matte. This, these two shades here are both shimmers. I do love the colors though. I mean, I wouldn't get rid of it at the moment, but if I had to get rid of one of the Natasha Denona palettes, this one would be the case. Because I do, even though the glam is looking really, really boring, <laughs> I still can use it on a lady and there are light shades, dark shades, you know what I mean? So I'm like, yeah, from, from Natasha Denona, it would be the bronze. Let's come to Odin's Eye. I do own a few, five, I feel like five palettes. There will be like more palettes at the end of it. I do own five palettes. I think it's five. From Un's Eye, um, my first is the Old palette. I was so craving this one because, listen, greens, do I have to talk more about it? You do have also like a split pan where you could mix both of the shades or you can yeah, just use this shade or this shade. We do have a really nice uh, deep green, a beautiful, stunning deep shimmer. We do also have a pastel one. I do love that quite a bit. We do have... Three collaboration palettes. Um, the first one is the Giant Wolves with Annette's Makeup Corner. Um, these are her Legendary Diversa Saga, if I'm not mistaken. This one is a multi-chrome. I think all of the other palettes have a multi-chrome, like just the small one doesn't. 
This one is the Giant Wolves. I also have um, the collaboration with the Fancy Face, which is this one. And this one is the Hummingbird palette. Yes, it's just the Hummingbird. I think it's Blue Hummingbird, but it's just Hummingbird, which is this beautiful palette. We do have also, again, a great variety between lights and deeps, which I love. Then we do have their almost newest collection which is the Somana 2 palette and um, this one is a really really beautiful almost rainbowy eyeshadow palette still love that one and then of course we do have Ngeshka's uh, Hela palette with Uden's Eye Together and this one is this palette with greens and pinks so <laughs> listen I do love all of them. I think they're great palettes in general, but if I have to choose one of these palettes that I would get rid of if, because it's my least favorite, it would be the Giant Wolves. Don't come for me. I do still love the Giant Wolves. It's just, it is a color scheme I normally don't go for. It is quite dark shades and that is why I bought it. Don't get me wrong. But if I have to choose just one palette, let me put that here, just one palette I would get rid of, Uns Eye, it would be this one because this one alone I won't use or I won't use frequently. So that is the reason I would go with this one. A brand I uh, loved over the years is Beauty Bay and that's why we are talking about it. By the way, I just remembered that in the backdrop I do have the be Listen, there are two palettes. This one, oh, like this and I won't pick that up. But it's the Iron Bright Mattes. Do love that. We'll put it in the picture. It is uh, the old version, by the way. And I don't have the Wilderness palette with me because it is on vacation with Anne. And she is testing the formula out. I was giving it to her to test out. And that is why these two palettes you just see in the picture. But I also have the Alice in Wonderland palette, like the small six pan palette. This one, which is so, so cute. I do also own both 16 pan, 16 pan, um, like monochromatic palettes. One is the berries and this is again the 16 pan. And you do have like two rows of warm tone berries and two rows of cool tone berries. And the same is with the earthy one. You do have 16 pans, two rows with cool tone greens and two rows with warm tone greens. Just so you know. I do like these quite a bit. We do have also in the same format as the wilderness, the Age of Opulence, which is a really, really pretty like jeweled toned blue and purple with neutral palette definitely can tell i did use that one and the almost newest before the dark fantasy one which i don't own is the new mod palette or new mood palette i'm so sorry this one is new mood this one is the newest in my collection and what is the least favorite one it's this one. It's this one. I I am so sorry. I know I shouldn't have bought this to be honest, but again, you will see uh, maybe occurring a role. It is just so deep. I mean, I do love it because it's deep, but on the other hand, this one is the one I used the last like it's not the one I use the most, let's say like this. And uh, it, the color story is beautiful. Every time I look at it, I do want to use it, but then I don't. So yeah, that's the reason why. This one is the, my least favorite of them all. Let's come to Colourpop. And I think Colourpop will surprise you. By the way, I do miss two quads. Again, they are on vacation uh, with Anne, but um, I do have two quads. Um, still in my collection and this one is the cream soda which is by the way great packaging um, more peachy uh, palette and you do have four shades we do have also the which one was that sorbet one which is more movie tone uh, palette and quad 
do love the both the tones and the uh, shimmers here and there. We do have quite a few of the nine pans. We do have the Okay Do Not, which I'm not sure if that is my favorite, but I mean, it's high in the ranking, which, you know, have great and beautiful purpley shades. We do have also, of course, the whole Star Wars collective, uh, which the child palette is this stunning green palette. We do have the Mandalorian palette, again, Star Wars for the win, this one. We do have the Darth Vader palette and uh, this one. And then we do have the, let's keep up with the Star Wars theme, the Star Wars palette. And this is the Star Wars palette. And then I do own also the Honey, uh -huh, honey palette, which is the yellow palette, yellow chromatic monochromatic palette and this is this one where I always say that I want to change the glitter. I didn't do that so far but I'm sure sure at some point in the near future. So let me <laughs> let me squishy scooch uh, to or let me grab the palette I like the least of all of them. And you know if you saw my Star Wars review which palette of the Star Wars uh collection I did like the least and to be honest it's not the palette I would definitely I don't I like the least of these palettes disobey one listen listen I thought this would go differently but it didn't I I listen this one I did like a lot because you, you do have some depth but this one these two shades you know, it's a really light look and I just, like, I can see myself decluttering this at the end of the year. And if you want to see that, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel. But yeah, this one is definitely the one I like the least. And I know it is hard, but yeah, this one definitely is my least favorite from Colourpop. Let's come to, well, I need to, like put back my arms because this one will be interesting and let's come to colliders <laughs> listen i do have a lot of palettes and i think colliders is one of those brands where i bought quite everything i missed a palette or two but in general i do have quite a lot so uh, let's get into this and let's start with the quartz because their newest stuff is a quartz and I do have the Smoky Nostalgia collection. I lost my sticker. Um, I think this one is Jasmine, Black Jasmine if I'm not mistaken, which is a black and gray palette. We do have Cold Smoke. Again, there's no sticker on it, which is the more neutral brown uh, palette. We do have this, the two newest quads from the collection. I will link the I will link a ton of videos where I may test these out or have them. Where <laughs> listen, they put stickers on the back. I'm loving that. This one is the Glow and Iris, which is the more vibrant purple palette. We do also have the Flowing Haze, which is the more muted palette. But I mean. Listen, they are stunning. Then we do have the like six pen palette, which is uh, the Futurism One Sci Fi Green, which is, of course, a green palette. Listen, mostly the name is right. Then we do have the second one, which is uh, the Futurism Two Cyber Bronze, which is the more brown toned palette with red and silver. We do have the Astro Pink, which is the Futurism 3, which is this stunning number. I do need to use some more. Like, listen, I do need to know more. Then we do have the fifth one. I missed the fourth because that was Neon, pal neon Palette. And listen, I <sighs> that was my time. This is the fifth one, Futurism 5, it's Electro Turquoise, which, I mean, look at the colors. And then we have the sixth one, which is, no, that's number seven. The sixth one, Futurism 6, is Luna Lavender, which is a beautiful purpley color scheme. 
And then we have the se seventh, which is uh, Sashimi City, which is a more peachy approach. You can definitely tell this shift. <laughs> like, listen, in the second, like in these twos, stunning shifts. We also have, like, listen, I'm not finished yet. Uh, we also have the Flower Punk from Kaleidos, which has a detachable mirror. And then this is the palette, listen, that is always looking like dirty, but I mean, what should I say? Uh, this is a green, like mauve turquoise palette. And then you can just like de detach the mirror, which I do like because then you can, you know, use it as a handheld mirror. I do like that idea. And then the last one, I think, if I'm not mistaken, is of course my Kaleidos and Angeshka palette, which is the Club Nebula palette. I mean, look at this. Stunning, isn't it? So, let's think about my least favorite one. And I know exactly which one it is. If you know which one it is, or if you guess which one it is, write it down in the comments. Which is your guess? Pause this and guess which one of the palettes is my least favorite. I think you would guess wrong. I think you will definitely doesn't think that this would be my least favorite. Listen, this is the uh, Cyber Bronze one. It's the second Futurism one. I was, when I bought this, I was totally into neutrals. This one was two years ago. I was into neutrals. I would never have bought like colorful palettes. That's why I didn't bought the neon one because I thought I would use that and like Three months later I was totally in the color but the point is indeed it is just a it's not a boring neutral palette don't get me wrong but these colors are really really pigmented and uh, I don't know it's some somehow somehow I'm not vibing with this one as much as I vibe with other palettes that they released you know what I mean so yeah, this one is my least favorite. And yes, you would think maybe that this would be the black jasmine one. No, this is not the cold. This was the cold smoke or cold blue or whatever. You would think it's the black jasmine one, but to be honest, I do have a place for this in my collection. And the bronze one, I don't. Because normally I... This one, by the way, is discontinued, so you can't buy this if, even if you wanted to. If I ever, like the cloth of this you would have maybe a chance to um but so yeah <clears throat> um yeah this is um, my least favorite kaleidos palette i'm sorry for that these were five brands and their least favorite palette in my opinion of course if you are a different or if you have a different opinion about that then please write it down in the comments also if you want to see my favorite palette of these brands or even a second video with other brands I do have in my collection also write it down in the comments if you aren't already please subscribe to this channel I have a few times a week and you see it's not like boring I do have good palettes like listen I do have good palettes also subscribe to my Instagram and TikTok if you want to and uh, I wish you a beautiful week and we see us in my next video bye guys